Is there anything more awkward in life than being in a hot tub with two strangers? Not really. Everything is gonna be Last night we took off in a lightning storm and this morning we're landing in a lightning storm. Welcome to Tampini Pool City of Panama City, Panama. Panama. This is my second time in Panama in the last year. I'm only here this morning for like 45 minutes and then I gotta get on another plane. Taking advantage of like a 25 minute lounge break here. They've got great internet. Alright, getting back on another plane. Next stop, Cartagena, Colombia. I've never been to this city before. Very exciting. That's me. Yes, I know. No. Gracias. Yeah. This is the this is the hotel. Later we can make the change on the other. Thank you. All right, I'm not gonna because it would be reckless and dangerous, but how fun would it be to fly the drone in here? But I'm not gonna. <sighs> Hello, water you. Oh my God. I am so excited about being here in Colombia but I'm just realizing some, some numbers here. It's 11.25 right now. I'm being picked up in my hotel here at 1.30. And then at 1.30 they're taking me to where like the event is and I've got to do a talk and press and media and all this stuff. And I'm super excited about those things. That's why I'm here in the first place. But what it also means is that I don't really have a whole lot of time to explore Cartagena or even like spend any time on this dope beach or even any time to swim in this ridiculous multi-tiered swimming pool. All right, maybe I found a little time to swim in the pool because come on, look at this pool. Even that bird loves this pool. That's 18 inches deep. Ah, they broke both my ankles. So like an hour ago, I tweeted to see if anybody in Cartagena wanted to show me around. And no one's gotten back to me, but uh, I did get some interesting ideas for things to do in my free time. I've got like 45 minutes. That like 10 second clip where I'm hanging upside down in these rings, honestly felt like I was drowning. The little jet shooting out water going right up my nose and into my mouth, I couldn't breathe. I hope the shot was funny. I have to meet the organizers at 1.30 and it's currently 5 of 1. I have 35 minutes. Okay. What is, what's your name? Casey. Oh, Casey. What's your name? Hey, Freddy. 
Freddy. <laughs> Freddy. Mister. Yeah, that's my last name. Yeah, I last name, okay. Do you think we can make it to the old city and back in a half yeah, an hour? Yeah, half an hour, yeah. Alright, let's do it. Which the panorama inside the old city? I don't know. I'll take a picture? Yeah. Alright. Freddy, I only have this afternoon in your beautiful city here. Yeah, do you like it? I love it, but I don't... I fly today in the morning, the night. I leave tonight. Yeah, you, it tell me, it tell me go to the, tomorrow in the morning. No, I canceled that flight. Yeah. I leave today. 35, uh, 35 minutos right. ahora. Uh -huh. And, uh, yeah, I want to see some magic. Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, worry. Don't no worry. Freddy, how dangerous is it here? No, not so dangerous here. No? No. I no, saw a guy no. at the hotel Nothing. with a gun, and then a guy at the beach with a gun, and then a guy at the parking no. garage with a gun, and then a no. lot it's of guns. Good. Yeah, there are a lot of guns, yeah. <laughs> There's no problem here, no danger. Okay. My city is uh, good. Good. Security for everything. So no trouble? Yeah, left, no trouble. No trouble. This is the wall, this is the eight kilometers around to the old city. Look at the building over there. It's the San Felipe Fortress. Wow. Look at the San Felipe Castle. Yo. All right, so this, this is going to be my five minute tour yeah, right of the there. old city. Up yeah, here. Walking around right inside to the wall. Wow, look how big this wall is. Man. Beautiful panoramic everything here. Colombia. Look at the house to the left. It's the Gabriel Garcia Marcos wow. house. Wow. Look, it's beautiful here. Take your chance. Prove yourself. Ready to go, Freddy? All right. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, and thus concludes Casey and Freddy's five minute tour, aerial tour of the old city. How are we doing on time? And this is us. Yeah. All right. See All right, Freddy, I'll see, see you, you later. In a minute. Okay? All I'll right. see you later. All right, I've got like two minutes to get changed. And then they've got me for the rest of the afternoon doing press interviews and meet and greets and all kinds of other exciting things. And that's before I give my presentation. So I've got a very busy and like professional afternoon coming up. And of course that's after sleeping like two hours on an airplane. Button my shirt wrong. No big deal. No big deal. I'm psyched. I've got a really good presentation prepared for this afternoon. This, this is the convention center here where I'm gonna be doing my talk. It is so humid out right now that uh, the lens is all blurry. This is just gonna have to be the soft focus episode. Uh, there were a lot of questions in the comments yesterday about what are these talks that I do? How do I do them? Why do I do them? What do I talk about? Yesterday in Brazil, I was talking about online marketing and, and mainstream traditional media versus new media. Today's event called Andycom here in Colombia is much more of a business industry event where they're talking about, where they're talking about information technologies and everything in between. They invite me to these things because my background in, in television and then feature films and then in journalism and then in technology and all of these different trajectories that my career has taken me on has provided me with a perspective that the kinds of people that attend these events want to hear from. Honor of being invited to these like great events, I get to travel to like exotic countries, and I come here and I connect with like a huge audience and speak to them about all kinds of stuff. One question that I saw like a thousand times was, do I get paid for these? Well, yes and no. For academic lectures, like last year I spoke at Yale and I was invited to speak at Harvard this year, and, and I spoke at MIT to students in their MBA program. 
those kinds of things like no I don't get I don't get paid for those sorts of things but ones that are more for-profit ones that people actually pay admission to sometimes I do get paid and that's amazing but all of them almost without exception always pay for my travel and help me get there so it really is like an awesome excuse to travel and then when I get to wherever I'm going it's a great way to engage with like people from the other side of the planet who are doing something similar to what I do that's what today is it's almost time I give my presentation in five minutes. We're going to do some press interviews now. Bueno, vamos a empezar la rueda de prensa con Casey Nestor. Él es uno de los. Thank you for filming. Thank you guys. I hope that went well. Freddie, I wish you came to the presentation. I think it went well. Excellent, no? Yeah, I think it was good. I really think this afternoon went well. Those things are always so exciting for me. I'm looking outside, contemplating what to do. I have a dinner invitation on the table, but I think I'm, I'm going for a run. Dudes, dudes with machine guns on that bridge. They seem like nice guys. They had huge machine guns though. Columbia. All right, this, this is gonna be my turnaround spot. I went pretty far, it's dark out, but it's just amazing here. Wow, I just got wet. That behind me is the ocean, and then there's the city. Wow! My hotel, about three and a half miles that way. I can't believe that! What's up? It is true! I'm Casey. Okay, can, can I be in the vlog? You're in the vlog no, right now! I'm in the vlog right now! Oh, no! And I see you single every day! You're the best! Do more, work hard! Can I ride your skateboard? Yeah, ride it! Oh man! This is gonna be so awesome! It's so awesome! They, they didn't know why that you are! And they have money! Oh man! There you go, oh, this is awesome! Nice to see you! Ah man, I love Colombia! I must have lost 10 pounds on that run, and me finishing here at the pool was not an accident. Really just a great run. I love running in heat. This, this is the Fortress San Felipe. I was supposed to go straight to the airport, but Freddy here, Freddy who is by far the MVP of the trip to Cartagena, took me on a little sightseeing tour. Look at that fortress. Thank you for bye everything. Bye. All right, it was good to meet you. All right, bye bye. I'll call you next time I'm in Cartagena. All right, see you, okay? Bye bye, Freddy. Of all the amazing things I could recommend for you to do while here in Cartagena, meeting Freddy would be number one. And that is what 12 hours in Cartagena, Colombia looks like. I wish I had had more time, but considering the circumstances, I feel like I got a pretty good experience in in a short amount of time. Fantastic city. How many episodes this week have ended with me going to sleep on an airplane? Still on my run, but there's this somewhat, what I would describe as an unprotected hole in the running path here. See this hole? That's like 10 feet. Okay, just, uh, just something to remember, watch out for the holes.